minute and think about this for one second. The Russo brothers directed Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. I know they did Civil War and that movie was great and Winter Soldier. The movie's great. I love those movies. But just think about those two movies for a second. Both those movies made $2 billion with Endgame breaking Avatar's record. And you know they had a deal probably where like they get like a 35% of like the box office. I mean, thinking about it now, I mean, that they, they are rich ass men now. And they said, you know what, Tom? Come with us. We, like, we want to do another movie. We got tons of money. Let's just make a movie. We had this really cool story. Let's do it. We're awesome together. We made money together. Let's make another movie. Yeah. Movies. Money. Can't make good stuff. Cherry stars Tom Holland and Sierra Bravo and is about an army medic suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder becomes a serial bank robber after an addiction to drugs puts him in debt. This film was directed by the Russo brothers who I, like I said, did Endgame, Infinity War, Winter Soldier, Civil War. They've done some of the top tier Marvel movies and after all that's said and done, they are now here making a new movie with Tom Holland. A movie I was looking forward to because the trailer had me really intrigued. It was dark, it was different. I was like, you know what? I'm a huge fan of Uncharted. I'm a big fan of Uncharted. So I'm trying to see everything Tom Holland's doing to get me prep for Uncharted because I'm already worried about him being Nathan Drake. So that's another talk for another day. So for this movie, I was like, I want to see Tom Holland do something different. Like, I mean, he's always Spider-Man. He'll be known for Spider-Man probably the rest of his life, especially how many movies he does. So for this movie, this is a great chance for him to really break out and say, hey, I'm an actor. Now, starting with the positives, Tom Holland is actually the best part of this movie. I mean, he is, like, really good. Like, I mean, I was like, I did not see dorky Peter Parker. I didn't see that. I saw Cherry. I saw this addicted messed up kind of person going through stuff like this and I've witnessed some of this in my lifetime don't want to get into too much details but I've seen something of like this in my life so for seeing him in this role I could tell by his mannerisms how he talked in some parts he does a really good job and what this character goes through from beginning to end I really does now beginning with the negatives is actually a shock to me but the thing that makes this movie really bad, like honestly, like this is the reason the movie is to me not good. The directing by the Russo brothers. And I really, what I mean by that is creative choices in camera style, uh, editing choices for sure, and how the story is developed with characters that aren't really important. Like I would say Tom Holland, like I said, he's a great actor, his character gets the mold. Like you get what's going on, you get the relationship, but everyone else, underdeveloped you never care about a single soul he has like this best friend of this entire movie i'm like who is this i don't even remember this guy's name which i'm not good with character names but still i'm like what is your name editing choice there's some moments where the character like tom Holland, can breathe as a character and there's some moments with this the talking of narration and his character and what we're seeing on screen it's like that's and i don't like this editing choice cinematography the movie looks good but like i just believe that Russo's were like, hey, we want to make a fucking weird ass movie. Like, we want to direct something that, like, you wouldn't see coming, which I get. You want to try something new and different. I get that. I don't like it. Just me, preferably, I didn't like the choices of creativeness in this movie, how they set up shots, how the camera moves in certain scenes. The certain scenes, I'm like, this is a, like, there's a robbery scene. I'm like, this is a perfect, slow, intense burn scene. And there's other moments where they're, like, trying to break open a safe. And I'm like, we're going for darker humor here. I don't understand what the tone is going for in this moment. So as a directing of this movie, I think it really just plummeted this movie. It ruined it. It really just made the movie like just odd pudding and very weird. A lot of people are going to probably say this movie is weird. And some people might love this style, which I could see happening. And if you like that, go all that forward. I mean, Tom Holland is really good in this movie. And a lot of you are seeing it because of him and the Russo Brothers. So I get that. But for me, I probably will never want to watch this movie again because of the creative choices to make this movie. I'm going to give Cherry a D. Another thing too is, the movie's a little too long. It's like 2 hours and 20 minutes long. 
cut like 25 minutes, I would be fine with it. But I get that you want to tell a lot about the story because I'm pretty sure it's based on some type of true story. But either way, Tom Holland, I'm almost there. I, I, Nathan Drake, that's the one, man. Don't fuck that one up, please, man. Uncharted is so good game. I love all four of those games. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoyed this early movie review. I think it's out in theaters. I'm pretty sure it's out in theaters, but it's on Apple TV Plus, March to Welp. I had it in my phone, but it's all over there on the ground. And I'm up here saying bye to you guys. Love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.